Hi everybody, welcome. Jenny here. Today I'm showing you guys how to do the two straw lay. So if you've already learned the one straw lay, saw how easy it is, and now wanna challenge yourself a little bit and do something a little bit different and more unique, this is the two straw lay. It's actually flat. Um, you can see that we're using two grow grain ribbons and I've cut them each about 50, 50 inches long. I have here um, two different colors. So you can see I've got lime green and white. You can do the same color, it doesn't matter. I'm just doing this for purposes on, um, on screen. And actually, it's kind of fun to do, especially when you've got school colors. So when you have like green and white, blue and white, you can just show this with school colors. Um, and I love to angle those little edges. We're going to continue the one that I've started. And I like to do this because when you're in the middle of a lay and for any reason you need to stop, go pick up the kids, um, run an errand, make dinner, you will know that you can stop and start it. You don't have to do the whole thing all at once. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna push this over to the side. <laughs> um, we start this lay like we start all of the one straw lays. You actually take your grow grain ribbon, you push it through the pointy edge of the straw, and then tape it. You do that with your second color, push it through the straw, and then tape it. I've just got scotch tape on here. As you can see, I just fold it over maybe about an inch and tape it down. That way the straw doesn't come off, okay? Now at the opposite end, pretend I haven't done this yet, um, I'm going to recommend that you go ahead and just tie a knot like this because the reason I do that, let me just demonstrate. I'm not gonna totally demonstrate it because I don't wanna lose this. But as you push all of this down, it could fall right off and you've worked way too hard to get this like it is. You don't want that to happen. So go ahead. I like to leave a 12 inch tail, as you guys know, if you've been following these videos. Um, and it's just a great size, uh, 12 inches to go ahead and tie a knot at the end or a bow using this. Okay, let's get started. <coughs> forget that's done, we'll just forget about that. Got our grow green ribbon running through the straws. Okay, so the yarns that I'm using, this one is called Kalina, and it has like already these little lumpy bumpy, they end up looking like flowers when it's mixed in here, it's gorgeous. So this is Kalina, and then I'm using Hoku, which is a longer lash, and it has a little sparkle in it. So I'm gonna find the end of both of the ribbons and I'm just gonna tie it on to the green. Tie it on just to one of them. That's all you need to tie it on to. And just like the one straw lays, not too tight, not too loose, but just right. But you do wanna make sure the knot is secure and the knot won't come out, but you do want it to slide. Okay, now I'm gonna take the straws. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna put everything on my left side. Straws together. And, um, it doesn't matter if the green or the white, actually the, um, the one I tied the knot onto is closest to me. And I'm going to go around the straws, creating a figure eight. Let me show you that. Let's start again. 
This is at the very bottom, nestled up against the bottom of that blue straw. I'm going to go under the pink, over the pink, under the blue, and just start forming a figure eight. Maybe it'll be easy to see it from this angle. So I go around each straw, creating a figure eight. And I'm gonna push it down, and I want it tight. Now that's a big loop right there. So we're just going to continue the figure eight. You guys see that? Around the blue, around the pink, around the blue, around the pink. And I just wanna make sure this is tight as I go down. Because just like in the one straw lay, you don't want it to be loose. It gets a little more complicated as you get more and more on your straw because you're kind of tightening it and your straws are really close together. Figure eight. So we are just continuing with that figure eight. And by doing this, it's laying flat, as you can see down here. Now you're gonna start working and noticing, just like in the one straw lay, you don't have a lot of room to work with, right? Because you're, you're losing straw base. So you slowly start to pull it down. I don't like it to completely come off the straw. I leave a little bit on there because you don't want to form a crazy gap or loop. As you're doing this, it might be hard to Pull the yarn down. I have found if you um, push the straw up, it's a little easier. Rather than pulling the straw out, you just kind of push it up. Don't let all this fall off though. You always want a little bit down there on the straw. Okay, now I can see I'm getting to the end of the Kalina. So I'm going to leave a little excess before I pull it completely off the straws. Oh, this looks good. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, now I'm going to take this end and just tie it around the green again to stop it. A knot that's not too loose and not too tight, but just right, because you do want to be able to slide. Um, I do like this uh, particular lay because it would actually make a really nice hat band to go around your hat. And as you push it, it can get tighter. Now I'm gonna give it a little haircut, trim this part off. Go ahead and take the tape off. Got that on there, good. Pull that out.
I do like to put a little knot here at the end. Take both of the ribbons, the 3 8 grow grain. Knot it at the end when we're finished. Oh, this, this really, really looks nice. All right, so we just tied our little knots at the end and then you can, this is enough to tie a bow at the top. So there you have it, the easy way to make a two straw lay with Kalina yarn and Hoku yarn. We'll see you next time, bye.